I mean, there's some other good stuff about like those interesting men where I make one less attractive, which kind of ties yes. into like yes, that's hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, yes. I was, yes. I was, I was talking to next someone. I was yeah. talking to someone, and I was like, you know. I feel like I would get more dates and more matches if I just wasn't into menswear, but I can't change that about me, you know? Because it's like, <laughs> it's like, it. yeah, you cannot do it. Yeah, it. It's, yeah. I think, you know, if you're, uh, it's cool if you're into like, you know, more streetwear stuff, you know, like, uh, like Flash FA, you know, like yeah. that kind of stuff, archival stuff. The fact that we talk about like, but there's oh, memes no, about that too. Like, there's memes about like being too into it and like. Into yeah, like, there and there are. Oh, yeah, there are definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this isn't. This I think the really... issue is it's not. It's it's not menswear itself though, which is it's the issue. Clothes. It's it's more <laughs> having a niche interest, I think, which here's, may here's, in yeah. general. But the make thing is, I mean, but, but the thing is, like menswear, even if they're both super niche, it's like menswear is still classic menswear is still a very. We dress like grandpas. Like yeah, we dress like old guy. Like you know, if you think about it, wearing a fucking tie and a like OCBD, right? Like, I don't want to uh, fuck my grandpa. I literally, I literally just talked well, about wearing a sweater <laughs> vest on its own like that. I can't imagine how many girls out there are like, I'm my my wap is just fucking. <laughs> Like gushing right now. More like a dab. That was a good bench of more like, um, more like a dab. This is a, this is not this is not <laughs> a missed opportunity necessarily, but this is a story that relates to menswear and dating. Um, okay, I'm writing this down. I went I went on a I went on a uh, on a first date. I went on with a girl. Um, we went we just like we had coffee and then we ended up walking through. Uh, the like the little downtown area that we had coffee at, and we stopped into a little yeah. vintage store. Um, and I tried on something and didn't buy it. And then on our next date, she lived very close to that place. I was like, "Hey, can you go back there and and buy that for me? <laughs> like, I'll buy <laughs> <of> you." Jesus <laughs> but, Christ! But, oh, wow. um, what the heck? Second like date? Bro. Um, was, oh that, man! Uh, I mean, it's Did like it, we happened? we ended what up. Happened? I mean, it's like, yeah, she got, it was, it's the blue blazer. Like we ended up seeing each other for like another, like two months after that. Mm. But so it wasn't, okay, okay. it wasn't something well, that, that was she was like, the crime. Yeah. it wasn't, it was no, it wasn't anything that she like had a problem with doing, but it was like something <laughs> that, yeah, I was like, I you like know, you're just like having a rest for I've been thinking about, 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 about that thing. Yeah. I, cause yeah. it's like this, this is, all, here's the other, here's the other piece of context. Uh, mm. she lived in like Glendale. Um, yeah. Glendale. And which oh, is Heidecker fame. Which is yeah, I mean that's like that's a while that's a while away for me. So it wasn't something that I could easily pick up, but it was something mm. that she could easily that pick was, up. That does you know, make priority. That does make it this better. Is kinda, yeah, this that's is kind of yeah, this is kind of insane. Um, because I remember one time we were all eating dinner. Oh, this was and- like yeah, right after it ended too. Yeah, after it ended, me, oh. me, Spencer, and MJ were walking down like the parking lot, and all of a sudden, like. <laughs> These people are like walking toward us, and and especially just like fucking ducks into a corner. (laughs) I didn't duck into a corner. I didn't duck. You were exaggerating. I like just, I like, like you, stepped you, like, back you, like, a little bit. You stepped back a little bit, and then I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then I just, I was just like, you know, these these like you know, two girls walk past one, goes like, "Oh, hey, Spencer," and you're yeah. like, "Hey," and then and I'm like, "What was that? Like, yeah. what the hell?" Well, okay, that's you also got behind exaggerate. the newspaper you were reading. That's also an yeah. exaggeration uh, because I well, <laughs> I'm assuming that she may have saw me, but we did not exchange words. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, I, I, in my in my head she said hi and you were like oh hey and like no, kind of just we kept didn't going say after anything. that um nope, no, i mean okay. we, it's like we i mean again that was right after it's ended uh, uh we have texted a little bit uh since then no, i mean not much okay. we've texted like did we've you texted, keep like, asking her times. for stuff like hey yeah, can I, keep, you grab I kept shoes? asking her for stuff at that thrift store <laughs> But yeah, that was, uh, can you buy this for me? Hey, that thing's still there. Yeah, uh, yeah check it out. The reason the reason I brought up this this thing is because uh, when in our Discord, um, we were talking about like potential topics for for tonight's stream and just also just the future. And uh, our friend uh, Chuck said Ethan and Spencer have to go into detail of every sexual experience, and then they give a criticism of what they did. And then our friend Hazlitt said, and this is a quote as Ethan. As me, he goes, so anyways, there was this really cute girl I knew for a while, and one day she asked me if she could suck my dick, and I'm like, okay, sure, but at the time, I didn't think she liked me, I thought she was joking, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's funny, but later I found out, like, oh, that was for real, and I said, that's kind of happened before, <laughs> so, like, I remember, um, there was this girl back in, okay, well, I guess I got two for two of these, so there was... A was one time, a two for one time, not just one time. <laughs> time a girl one. offered to do things with me, and I'm like, "That's yeah, totally." Like finger guns, and then like didn't realize they were serious. 
in your but, best? No, like there was a <laughs> girl in my, in my college who, you know, when they say music majors are like freaky, like, you know, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Or whatever. Everyone says yeah. that. Yeah. Sure. It's a common like, thing they bank say. Camp. And like, you know, me and this, like, you know, this girl, like we were kind of friends. We didn't really have a lot of like, so like we weren't, we didn't have any social circles that we kind of like shared. We just kind of like, we just knew each other and we talked and, you know, it's because this girl would tell me about her sexual exploits and everything that I thought, like, okay, I'm just, like, friend-zoned, right? And, um, like, one day she was like, oh, hey, I'm in the quad right now. Uh, I'm like, oh, cool. She's like, yeah, maybe we should, like, make out. And I'm like, oh, totally. And it's like, <laughs> she's like, so you're gonna call, come down? I'm like, oh. Okay. Uh, and at the time, I hadn't done anything yet. Or at least I hadn't had my first mm-hmm. kiss yet or something like that. So I'm like, nah. And yeah. I kind of was like, maybe I should I should have just fucking done it. Or maybe I did have my first kiss, but I was like, I don't know if I want to use it on this one. Because, like, kisses are special. I should have fucking done it, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and right. there, was, there was other time where there was this, uh, this is kind of pertinent to some of our Avatar talk. Uh, but, like, there was this kind of, like, goth girl that I was friends with in college. And it was kind of the same thing. She was, you know, we were pretty close. She would tell me about her dating stuff. I would talk about my dating stuff. And then one day, you know... She was like, yeah, maybe we should hang out sometime, just us. And I'm like, yeah, totally. <laughs> and uh, I think one time she's like, hey, can you pick me up from like, uh, can you take me to like uh, Subway for some food? Like she wants she wants to go off campus. I'm like, oh, sure. And we drove there. And like, I'm pretty sure she asked me for like a date. But I was, she's like, are you going to get anything? I'm like, no, I'm good. So she just ate in front of me <laughs> in, in well, Subway. And then yeah. she took me back. Like she like, and it was like, oh, you want to go back now? Sure. And then like we sat in the car for a little bit. And she's like, so, yeah, like, like you know, I'm like, yeah, totally. And then she, I don't know, it was just like, I don't know what else to do. And then she's like, okay, I'll see you later. And I'm like, oh, was I supposed to kiss you? She's like, maybe. And I'm like, okay. And then like, I think I like kissed her cheek or something. Um, like Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of another one. Oh my god, another god, one my god. life, Let's my fucking down. sucks, dude. Oh, okay. I matched with this. God damn it! This is awful. This is just. You're oh, just tearing matched... Ethan's esteem down. Oh, yeah. Um, there was this one time where I matched with a girl who went to like an annex campus, like not the main campus, but like something like you know a couple miles away. Um, mm-hmm. And she came. She came to my. She came to our campus. She came. Uh, we were, like we, we hung out at the library. We walked around, and like she's like, okay, I'm gonna go. Like I'm gonna head out now. Like we should hang out again sometime. And I walked into her car. And she's like, okay, bye. We hug. And then she kisses me. And I instinctively turn my head so she kisses my cheek instead. Oh, God. Oh. Nathan for you, man. Yeah. And then and I'm, I'm like, okay, see you next time. She obviously never texts me back again. Uh, <laughs> and She put a kick me yeah. sign on your back. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of this stuff. Uh, I, I remember also one time I, was, uh, I had a Disney date. Um, because uh, Spencer has said people do that in SoCal. If you live like yeah. not even just Anaheim area or Orange County, if you live like anywhere, you you know if you're really into Disney, you can just you'll get a pass. Like yeah, anywhere just... anywhere like from oh. like LA down, um, people go to yeah. Disney all the time. Like yeah, even like yeah, San like, we Diego. Like we, knew, we knew a guy. We knew a guy who lived in San Diego and still went to Disneyland once or twice a week. Wow. Yeah. Wait, hmm. who the fuck? Who the fuck is that? Was uh, uh, D- David? <laughs> I heard... Oh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, David Schwimmer um, from Friend. That's cool. right. <laughs> we were on a break. Your friend? Uh, no, so I went on this date with this guy, and this girl was so pretty. Also, she looked like my ex. So at the time, it was like, oh man, I'm like, it's it, there's right. a lot of stuff Replacing. going on. There's a lot of lot of like, pack there. You're cosplaying and, as Ethan. And at, uh, so our plan was to. You know, go to Disneyland, and when it end, like after the fireworks, we would go to like get some boba or like get grab some dinner or whatever. I'm like, cool. And so we were, you know, we were walking around. Oh yeah, um, what's it called? Um, what's uh, not Old Town Orange? Uh, uh, Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena. No, what do you call it? Uh, uh, New Orleans, New, o- New Orleans Square. <laughs> New Orleans. Oh, in Disneyland. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Old yeah. Town. And, and, I love how I and old so we. The fireworks came on. She's like, "Oh, we should watch this." I'm like, "Yeah." And so she sat down, and I just stood next to her and watched the fireworks. Like, I didn't even put my arm. I didn't Jesus sit next to her. I didn't do. Christ. I didn't do anything. And then afterward, we're like, "I was like, oh yeah." So you. Want-? He goes, "Actually, can you take me back to my car now?" I'm like, "Okay." 
<laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, we should hang out again sometime. She's like, uh, yeah, sure. Never heard from her again. <laughs> so basically, you're requesting women that are interested in you should bring a sign with them that just says "fuck me" on it. Yeah, yeah so I know. Man, I need them to tell me yeah. these things. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. come on. Yeah. yeah. So, oh yeah, and also, so man, there was one time. This this one is less my fault, I think. Not even my fault. Like you're less like of my. Opposite of me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's uh, was it was it Jonah? It's like hashtag not me. Like yeah. it was it was like Jonah has to say, Jonah is trying to brag that he slept with these women, and she's, they're saying like, oh, I've never no. even talked to Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, there was one time. Uh, I, I mean, I, hopefully, I feel better after this about my life. Um, but um, we'll see. God. Um, yeah, there was so I had the crush on this this Tinder girl that I was you know that I became friends with you know because sometimes most of these things and dating apps you know you don't always have the or the implication yeah, of of you guys are going to hook uh, up or even like date right sometimes you just meet up for boba and you see where it goes from there right you grab a drink or something and so this person like we met up for a little bit and like we became friends and we became like really good friends like we would talk to each other again about our dating experiences again i'm like friend zoning myself in a sense even though the friend zone doesn't really exist um, dozens again yeah. and so one day she like agreed to go like on an official date with me i kind of fell into that trap where i tried too hard on the date like i dressed up too much like, and like you know like you pick her up you have reservations at a place you know it's just like it's not as casual as you want it to be so clearly after that date she was like oh no i think we should just be friends right huh. like you know yeah. and it's like you know and I'm like, okay, fine. And then one night she was like, hey, you want to come like watch a movie and hang out? I'm like, sure. And so we like watched a movie and like we like cuddled it up. Um, and I and I remember in my mind she said, we're just friends, you know, nothing else. I'm like, cool. So I didn't fucking I didn't do anything. I was just like, you know, yeah, my arm was around her while we were watching, but like that's it. And like she's like wearing pajamas, you know, we're like under the blankets, all this kind of stuff. I mean, none of that is like consent, but like I'm not like I'm not I'm not doing anything. So I go right. home. I get home at like you know one like two o'clock in the morning, and she texts me, "Hey, how come we didn't do a move? Like you know, what, what, like what was up with that?" And I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Dude? <laughs> you like, told me that. <laughs> yeah, you told like, me." And the thing is, you know, that's kind of like that was one of the reasons why I, I I thought like you know like you don't even if you're not gonna date long term, you can still do other stuff, <laughs> you know. But like at, well, at the time. Just- I was very young, and I was like, "Oh, if they, yeah. you know, it's very, very explicit, you know, separation of boundaries here, as opposed yeah. to like now, where you know, I'm, you know, Anything you kind of understand you know, the idea. Of fuck, you weave I mean, a little bit of I it, would, you know, and of course, the, the thing is, you always, you know, if I just, yeah, I would have gotten a clear answer, right? Like, hey, can I kiss you, or, or something like that, right? Like, you ask for consent, so you have a more clear 